Hey guys, Cranky Kaz here. And a Sherpster. We're here because you guys in the Discord told us that the Game Awards was fantastic and we have got a lot of awesome trailers to look forward to. We didn't have three and a half hours tonight to sit down and watch the whole presentation, but GameSpot have done a handy video that shows all of the trailers from the Game Awards in like 21 minutes. So we're going to blast through that and uh, and see what we got. What do you think we're going to see? What do I think we're going to see yeah. or do I, what do I want to see? Both. What, well, what, what do you want to see and what do you think we're going to get? More 7 Rebirth. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Um, they've been talking about 16 DLC. I'd love to see some sort of update on that. Obviously, that's Final Fantasy focus. Um, I'd just love to see what else they've got as well, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fairly safe to say that we're going to get something more on Rebirth. I think they even maybe said that that would be the case. Right. I can't quite remember. So I'm expecting Rebirth, and I'll be disappointed if we don't see anything. Mm, agreed. Um, whether we'll see anything about FF16, I'm not too sure. Um, what else is coming up? this year i can't even think no nope, my mind's gone blank this might be a good reminder yeah i can't think what else has been announced can you think of anything else that's been announced i hope we don't get any yakuza spoilers because obviously we've kept clear of the recent trailers that have been floating around because we're still trying to finish yakuza 6 but <laughs> i'm trying to think what else there might be that you guys were all so hyped about we could just go and find out let's go and let's, find let's out let's do that let's shall do we it. here's your host the creator of the game awards Jeff Keeley. Better put both headphones in. Hey, Jeff, how are you doing? Hello again, Jeff. I'm proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. That looks pretty cool. Bit of Muse. Nice yep. copyright claim. Yep. Great. Wonderful. That's a tune, though. Yes. I love that tune. I haven't heard it for ages. No. This game looks good. I don't remember hearing about Exodus, or if we did, it was a tiny... Right, well, yeah. Now we're gonna go right well, that on. was very quick. That was ridiculously quick. Okay, so it's literally going to go bam, 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 trailer, trailer, trailer. I kind of wish we were doing it more like getting the build up in advance but whatever we'll carry on with it like this and uh just be ready to hit the space bar yep. i guess if something cool comes up yep another world premiere all part of the process let's go again hello hello god of war is back god of war is back let's turn this shit up wait wait well, what are we seeing is it wait, dlc uh, this, is it i'm guessing this is dlc for ragnarok God of War, Ragnarok, Ooh, Valhalla. Valhalla. Wow. Oh, we're definitely going to have to December? do that then. Like, a few uh, days time. Wait, where are we? It's four, the eighth today. Four days four time. Have you heard the crowd? The Did you hear the crowd Yeah, the there? crowd were like pretty excited about that. Oh my God. As so are we're we. Getting, we're getting Valhalla. Yes. That's exciting. This is very exciting and it'd be good to get back into that as well. It, obviously, like DLC, because they did bring out DLC. They did bring out. Did they bring out DLC for the other God of War? I don't think they did. Did they? I don't remember any oh, DLC for God of maybe War. Maybe I'm getting confused with something else. Um, but DLC is good. You know, as I, I I really enjoyed Ragnarok. It'd be good to get back into it and like, have a little bit extra to do on there. Yeah, definitely, because yeah. that that we played that on the channel, didn't we? And we did. uh, you could always resume that and. and... See how you get on. I've forgotten that how be... to play it, but... <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be to do with Freya and Sigrun and the Valkyries then? Maybe. Cool. Okay, I'm Sounds good excited to me. for that. Thumbs up from me. Four days time. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> More. <laughs> yeah. Please give a warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. Hi, Akumi Nakamura desu. Konnichiwa. Hi, konnichiwa. <laughs> it's time to see the unseen. Mitenet. My heart. Unseen. Okay. Guess what we've been looking at? Mm. <laughs> Furniture. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of a persona vibe from that. Yes. Oh, okay. I can see where you're getting like that Phantom from. Phantom Thieves. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. Oh, side-scrolling and... Oh, and a bit of... Oh, what was the one where you had to paint? Akami? I can't remember, but it seems to be sort of like putting together quite a few different genres. There's a lot going on yeah. here. Wait, is this... Hang on, is this a montage? Have we skipped from Unseen to... Yeah, uh, this is a load of stuff. Okay. Ah, now 
<laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? Is this all in one game? No, yep. it's like everything. Okay. Okay. Oh, Sega 5 game remakes, Jet Set Radio, Shinobi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and Crazy Taxi. That'll okay. be why it was That'll uh, be why it looked all like... these different things. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? Good old Crazy Taxi, though. I remember that from years ago. Yeah. Remember playing that in arcades as well? Yeah. yeah I remember yeah. having it for a PlayStation 2. Awesome game. Okay. It feels like this 21 minutes thing is just a bit too fast because you don't get the build up where you're like, wait, what are they talking about? What are they talking yep. about? But it's fine. We, yep. haven't, we haven't got three and a half hours to sit through. So, nah. And by the looks of things on the bottom here, which is obviously broken up, it looks like there are some longer ones. Good. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. On to another quick one by the looks of it. Typically, a world premiere reveals one game, but leave it to Sega to announce five, five. new games in one trailer. <laughs> Dragon Ball fans have been waiting to hear about for a while. Here we go. Okay, as long as there's ah. no Yakuza, I just don't want to be spoiled with Yakuza. Well, not yet, anyway. It's a Dragon Ball game, then. Did you ever watch I never Dragon watched, Ball? I never watched the cartoon, but that was no, uh, the I. anime. That was... Um, it was a big deal, though, back when we were younger, wasn't it? It was, yes. I had friends who were, like, really into it. Yeah. I never got into it, though, if I'm honest. That's right. Two huge names in the horror stone. genre, Dead by Daylight and Supermassive Games, are coming together Ooh. for a brand new single-player experience, the casting of Frank Stone. Okay. Oh, so super massive. So until dawn, the quarry. Oh, is it those, those guys, guys? Is it? Um, Man of Medan, and mm -hmm. we need to play more of those on the channel. Actually, yes, we do. So the Dark mm -hmm. Pictures anthology. Um, it's been like a year since the Devil and Me came out, and that's won some awards. I think. Like, I definitely think they're shorter games that we could do on the channel. Yep. Especially given we don't have much time at the moment. Like, maybe that's something we could look into. If you guys are interested in that, let us know. But this one looks cool, the mm -hmm. new one. It certainly does. Yeah. Should we carry on? Let us carry on. Now, tonight we're showing you lots of new worlds, but now it's time to return to a world we haven't seen in quite some time. Ooh, that looks pretty. Wait. Is that like Nino Kuni or something? What am I saying? What am I... It's... Mm. It's that sort of style, isn't it? Is it Nino Kuni? It's definitely that art style. Yeah. I'm trying to work out who the character is. Well, that's the first thing I thought of, but I'm not saying it's definitely right. A new mana. mana adventure. Oh, okay. Legend of Mana, is it? Secret of I, Mana. Secret of Mana. I never played those. Visions, Visions of, of mana. mana. Okay. Oh, cute. That looks very pretty and cute, yes. It'll probably be like... 100 That's hours long the and then we're on to rise of the ronin apparently unfortunately <laughs> the chapter things are going to give it away but yep. yeah okay let's go just have to not look at them <laughs> coming to playstation in 2024 oh Ooh, hang on a wow. minute what, what are we seeing here this is rise of the ronin i think they basically came along and announced it but it's not linked to ghost of tsushima or is it dlc for ghost so shall we no it, it's separate isn't it yeah, it's it not like linked to ghost yeah yeah, okay, it's a completely fresh game. That's exciting. Very good. I still haven't played any more of Ghost of Tsushima, so probably a good time to maybe explain what's going on the channel a little bit. We're focusing on Yakuza because it's a really busy time for us at the moment with things going on outside of the channel. Um, so I literally haven't played Ghost of Tsushima for a couple of months now. Something like that, yeah. Something it's been like a while. that. I would like to get back into it, but anyway, I'm excited about another samurai game because i'm really enjoying ghost it feels um, like there's a lot of samurai stuff at the definitely moment seems there was something... ghost there was sakura shadows die twice yeah that was samurai style as well samurai samurai style and now we've got sekiro, rise of the ronin yeah sekiro yeah, yeah sekiro that's the one. um yep. and then rise of the ronin yeah so it, i mean it's clearly it's quite interesting to people so and then of course there was the yakuza samurai style wasn't there I oh, the name of it. Uh, oh Ishin. god Yakuza Ishin, which yeah. I want to play, it was obviously. Yeah, and um, that's obviously like, you know, seems to be a lot going in that direction at the moment. <laughs> I'm I'm cool with that. I'm really enjoying Ghost and I really want to play Yakuza Ishin. God knows when we'll get around to that, but 2026? It's, on the, it's on the backlog, so uh, yeah. Let's we'll crack let's crack on. <gasps> Kojima. Whoa, 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 what? What's he doing? Hungry purple dinosaur eats the kinds 
singing fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. <laughs> Good. The hungry purple dinosaur. Ate is it like the kind zingy fox? Is this like Room 101 type thing? Are they fucking with her? She's been completely. And what he's cooking up here is. Okay. I was getting a room 101 feeling from that. What you know when they do like mind control by just um in 1984. Mm. Do you know what I mean where they kind of just overwhelm you with like words and it's like basically how to describe it uh basically fucking up your thought patterns mm. by just overloading you with stuff. Gotcha. And yeah. It, I I know I certainly uh, see where you're coming from. Yeah, type yeah. thing. Um but then it was weird, like the what you could see in her eyes, like it looked like she was in some sort of like science lab with yeah. the, the lights and stuff, and then it was just an open door. Uh huh. Od. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. I thought Od could be like overdose or overdrive or something, but then open door. That... It could be. Okay, I'm I'm really interested. Yeah. Let's see I'm what these submit, guys. Yeah, are I must admit, like before we move on to it, it did sort of initially strike me as like one of those things you'd find in those like art galleries where like someone's just come along and done something really really weird like just people being like oh, blah, 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 oh blah. like an art installation yeah exactly yeah. yeah that's what it sort of said to me initially but yeah that, that looks like it's going to be a mind fuck whatever yeah. it is also i love his brooch it's the um, oh yes. it's his logo that's so cool let's see what he's got to say yeah. shall we it's completely immersive utterly terrifying and i am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the goat let's go <laughs> wow, that's exciting. It's time for another game announcement. This one's 65 million years in the making. I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Jurassic Park? Really spectacular, spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Are they doing Jurassic Park? It was real. Are they fucking uh... doing Jurassic Park? It wait, looks wait, like they are. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, they're dead. <laughs> Survival. Oh no. Oh, the velociraptors. Do you remember? Do you remember when they're hiding in the kitchen? And it's like... <laughs> oh my god, that would be terrifying. Yeah, also, you this, know, that's this... going to be like a, a VR game, isn't oh, it? No. A bit like, you know what it's making me think of? It's making me think of Alien Isolation. Yeah, yeah. The, the, yes, I was, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Basically going to be another one of those You know what it was games. making me think of? Some that... guy, <laughs> completely random, some guy um, edits his cats into films and he's got yes. this gorgeous black cat and he's edited the cat as if it's the T-Rex in Jurassic Park when you know when they're in the car in, yes. in the jeep and, and the T-Rex is like <laughs> <laughs> part of that um, is just this cute black cat <laughs> and it's just like meow meow <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't think i'd be able to play that but i'd like to see someone playing it like i'd like to watch a playthrough of that no not me <laughs> can, I, can i not make you do it oh shame well we'll talk about it we'll talk about it. Okay. Cool. Anyway, this is this is jam packed with good trailers. Wow. It is. Rocket racing. Here's your first look. Ooh. Rocket racing. Oh my God! Squish two would love this. Oh yes. He's obsessed with cars at the moment, like Pixar cars. Yes. And Lightning McQueen, or Lightning the Queen, as he keeps calling it. <laughs> Bless him. I mean, that like looks fun. fun for like, Joining me now you know. are Rebecca and Megan from Digital Extremes up in Canada to talk about all things Warframe. If you're a Warframe fan and watching, we love you and thank you so much. Oh my and god, have you seen you her gloves? They're the next badass. Update with yeah. Walls. So this is Warframe. Yep. I think you quite like the look of this, didn't you? It looks quite like Destiny. Like Destiny stuff. looks like sort of 
like sort of the way you'd run around in Doom as well. Yeah. Although obviously not the same environment as Doom. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks fast and furious. Curries, this is not a good time to whack an advert in. Oh, it's DLC for Warframe. Okay. Ah, okay, cool. All right, cool. So the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. No, I'm gonna offer you this game, a game from my old man. I hope you like it. I'm liking Every the colorful art style from what I'm seeing so far. Another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. My Baba, my father, your story was snatched away too soon. Oh, looks pretty. Mm, definitely looks pretty. Looks like the sort of thing that could be quite fun it to play. It looks quite tricky as well. Yeah. Right. Like in all these abilities he's got. Mm. Oh, okay. Tales of Kenze We have Kenzera? a world premiere new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. This is the first Berserker. Oh. This looks good. It makes me think of God of War in some ways, but obviously isn't. But yeah, look at that art style. Is this the first we're seeing of this, or have we Apparently, seen some yeah. of this? It is. I think that's what he's suggesting. This is the first. First gameplay footage. Yeah, well, this is in engine, isn't it? I feel like we saw something like a teaser about this earlier in the year. I must admit, I don't remember. The first Berserker, Kazan. Here is I wonder, the... I wonder how difficult that is because it kind of, it looks like that would be quite tricky. I've just seen a massive spoiler down there. This is the problem with pausing it. Yep. Oh my god, we got FF7 Rebirth next. Orchestra? What the hell? Right, let's just, just let's do find it. Out. Let's just do let's it. Let's find out. Game Awards Orchestra led by Lauren Balfe with lead vocals from Lauren Allred debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy Ooh. VII Rebirth. What? Enjoy. The theme song. The original? Like the, the main theme? Yes. Well, right, like, okay, you know, okay, like okay, how okay. it was hollow. Shh. And we're getting some footage. Sorry. But if not, what could it be that drew you towards me? Could it be chance? Till the day. Is she? Is she singing? What? Are we, what are we seeing? Sid! Oh my yes, God! Yes, we have just seen Sid for the first time. Is that, the, is that the episode we're dying? We just saw? Yeah, I think it is. We're going to need to rewatch this. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, I thought, oh my God, she's dead. <gasps> Why is she singing? Why is she in a white dress? <gasps> okay, okay, go back, go back. We need to look at that yeah, again. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on there? <laughs> Let's do the whole thing again, shall we? <laughs> Debuting the theme song from Final Fantasy VII. Rebirth. Well, that's very, very Enjoy. different to Hollow. I'm going to turn it? it up. It is, yeah. All right, let's whack it up. So she's singing in some... In like, like an opera house. It's giving me FF6. Is Jesse like dancing there? Oh, is hang Jessie on a minute. It's dancing? Je is it Jesse when she's doing the gold saucer? Looks like it. I was thinking, why is Aerith? So that's... That looked like Jesse to me. And who the hell is that? That is Cloud? that looks like Barrett because that's his gun. That's Why Cloud is he dressed dress up. That's red. You know that's Kate it, Sith. You know what it is? Is it the gold saucer? Performance you know the gold thing? saucer when you do the performance? Yeah. 
And then you have to dress up as a knight or something, don't you? I don't know whether Barrett's there with you, though. Don't you do that as like a... Um, it's like a... It's when you with go on the, the date, isn't it? Yeah. You choose your companion. Have changed They've it. changed it, obviously. Yeah. So, okay. But yeah, if I just sort of move Barrett's back Barrett's outfit ever. is badass. Look at that. Oh. oh that's, I, no, I am I, getting real FF6 vibes, you know, when they have the opera? Yes. Like, I just saw the white dress and then the fact it's like an opera house. And Maybe I was like, that's what they're going for. They really need to remake Final Fantasy VI. I would scream if they did that. Anyway. Carry on. <laughs> Oh, they're just setting it all up for, they are. Uh, for you know. So this looks like they're... I don't know, this is the face-off with... Uh, with Vincent, Vincent. Eugenhagen, and then we're going to have... Oh, so hang, so hang on a minute. There's fireworks there, so is it going to be set in stone who we go to the fireworks with? But maybe not, because in 7 Remake, you know there's that scene after you've sort of rescued Wedge from the underground research thing yeah after sector seven's been destroyed and before mm -hmm. you then decide we're going to go and get Aerith back you have that moment where cloud wakes up in the night and you go outside and meet with someone and that's not set in stone is it not no it's not oh, you okay, can meet with Aerith, really. you can meet with tifa you can meet with barrett so maybe the same thing will happen here and obviously they, you know, they might well just be showing Aerith, for example for yeah. that moment okay. or maybe not who knows at this point That is Aerith, though. It is. That yeah. is not. Yuffie's dancing. Sid again. I love the fact they brought Sid oh, in. Oh, the tiny Bronco. Can we can we freeze frame on the the Rocket Town? Um, so if hang it'll on let a me. minute. Oh, it's not letting me. That you can ah. do left and right. Remember, I think. There we go. There we go. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Is that the rocket in the background? It looks like it is. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not completely convinced. No, I, I mean, know. it looks like yeah. it could be a rocket, but at the same time, it looks like it could be something else. They might else. have changed it slightly in terms of... Yeah. It looks... Because wasn't... Rocket Town was kind of an old Shinra... It was kind of established by Shinra for building the rocket. The town yeah. grew up around that, didn't it? I think so, yeah. Or the village, or it was town, wasn't it? But yeah. this looks kind of like old... Build, construction area con for the rocket, Construction maybe. area and kind of like buildings for research yeah. that have been abandoned a bit and potentially a little airfield which is why the tiny bronco yes. is taking off yeah, from yeah. it cool. so uh but that's cool that's our first is that our first sight of sid i think i it think is. it is yeah awesome what right. do you think does he do you think he looks good let's let's see we're gonna has he got the cigar play there we go no cigar yeah, no cigar what they what they're doing that's the dying moment who looks very similar to, oh God, who was the guy in FF15? Noctis's King's Glaive companion. Looks really similar to, oh, uh, is it Core? Core Leonis? Oh, Core, okay. Yeah. So not one of the normal companions, I mean, like it could, the extra one. No, it was like in King's Glaive, and I think oh, right, you, okay. you did, um, actually, you might have, in the demo, you might have had something to do with him at one point. I'm sure he was in a bit of gameplay. He didn't feature very much. Right, gotcha. He took you to one of the places where, you know, the swords, one yeah. of the shrine. Yeah, oh, that probably was, so, it probably was so, cool then. So long ago, but anyway. Yes. So all this uh, gold saucer stuff. So this is going to be extra stuff because it's Zack. It's Zack. And that is a very... Oh, God, hang on a minute. Yes, it's oh. that scene. It's that scene. It's that scene. It's that scene. Oh, I, and that, the feathers... I, I didn't. I didn't register that the first time. Yeah, I've just registered it a bit but more now. It's, it's, it's that there, scene. And she's praying. The oh fuck! That's what they're going what, up to. Well, then. what's well? That's what they're teasing us into thinking is yep. going to happen. Well, yeah, us veterans oh, who know the original. Look at her face there. She. It's like she knows what's going. to... Yeah. Well, she. Oh shit. It's like she. Yeah, like you say. It's like she knows sort of like the path she must take, and is it going to involve? What we think oh, it might. That whole trailer as well is kind of around. You see Cloud sort of realizing he quite likes her. Yep. The date at the Gold Saucer, and I, I wonder if they will stick with having like Aerith as the sole choice for the. Oh, oh no, because you could. No, you're right. In the sewers and things, you had a choice of. Of things you could of do. Of things you could like, do. Like you could go yeah. to T4 Aerith first. If you're talking about in, in Remake, right? Yes, I'm talking about yeah. Remake. Yeah, I, f I was forgetting the sewer. It did it did vary, didn't it? You it could did. choose different people. Oh, okay, so yeah, they're going up to there. Well, 
Are wow. they going up to there, though? Wow. Or is it going to be in some sort of weird flashback with... Because, obviously, with Zach being around, they could be fucking with yeah. time. Well, yes. And... It feels like... I think, I think I saw something at one point not too long ago where they said they're not departing completely from the original story. But I guess the whole thing with Zach... I think they're suggesting it's like a different timeline or something like that. A parallel, uh, a parallel, a universe, parallel universe or something universe, like that. I yeah. Think, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Lots to think about, and two and a half months now until Fe- this next uh, instalment comes out. I know February, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. It's it's flying it's by. It's going to be a busy year. Oh yes, it absolutely is. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. Mm, turn that shit up. That sounds like Carmen. <laughs> yeah, he's just managed to slice his thumb oh, ow. using his shaver. What's he gonna do to him? A tattoo right. artist? Oh, Sweeney Todd, is it? Oh, it's vampires. Lock up tight now. Is it Blade? Just getting started. Oh. It's Blade. Blade? Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, I remember the Blade movies. They've been out for some time. Wesley Snipes. Do you not know the, the franchise? Uh, I've heard of it. I just don't think I've yeah. watched any of them. Basically, he's a vampire hunter. Okay. But also, I think, a vampire himself. Fair Correct enough. me if I'm wrong there, chat, because I, I don't know the. Well, it looks don't know like, it in depth. It looks like he is one. Yeah. Yeah. But as okay. soon as it came up and then the style and the sword on the back, I was there thinking, that's Blade. Cool. Anyway. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Oh God! Going to be okay. The demon is here. It's the demon. It's the demon. Is this live action or cinematic? Hello. It's a cinematic, oh, isn't it? it? Yeah. Oh my god! Can I just can I just pause it for a sec? Why is the pause not working? So um, you told me to press left and right. It's not I'm worked sorry, no, it's not working. <laughs> um, can I just say, I was genuinely fooled for a second there that it was like legit live action. These were real people. It's it's a cinematic. It's yeah. it's, it it ah uh, okay. That's how good the graphics are getting yeah. these days. Jeez, right? Okay. Well, that looks like a fun world to be in. That looks amazing. It's like the Matrix, but in Japan. Yep. The Last Sentinel. Looks like fun. I'm always up for a bit of post-apocalyptic. Ooh. Ooh. Now open your eyes. Slowly. I hope this isn't Talos Principle. Because we haven't played the... Um... Take a breath. The latest one. Nah, no, it's not. It's, not. It's, it's something different. It feels familiar. What is it? Looks like Death Stranding landscape as yeah, well. Yeah, I was thinking that. Definitely isn't Death Stranding though, no. is it? Look at this. Oh, I think it's that one. Oh, I have no idea actually. Fight until the end. Wow. Find you. It looks a bit nuts. It does, but Whee! what's the actual gameplay like? The first, the first descendant. descendant. Who's done that then? No, but there's an advert. Okay. Thank you, next. 
That's good. That was the first Descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024 from Nexon. Nexon. Lovely. Okay. okay. I don't know that. I don't, I've never heard of that. Me neither. I'm going to go and look into that because that looks kind of cool. Cool. What's next? That right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 ah. years ago with this guy right here, Sean. Oh, has it really been 10 years? Sean, wow. uh, looks wow. like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what is the next decade? They didn't decade? show us much, show, did they? <laughs> Real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Wait, is this? This is something different, I'm guessing. Or is it? I'm guessing this isn't No Man's Sky anymore. So what is this? You can tell we haven't played it. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like No Man's Sky. Well, it kind of does, but I don't think it is. Let's... Light no fire. So that is not. Is that now to do with No Man's Sky? Welcome to the stage, actor uh, Simu Liu. I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all, and okay. the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. Let's have a look. May or may not. <laughs> so was that light no fire part of No Man's Sky? I'm kind of confused. I'm with the confused editing by there. that as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, this all looks a bit uh, command and conquer style, but. In a fantasy world and Stormgate. Stormgate now on Kickstarter. Here comes Daredevil. Entirely inappropriate clothing, but there you go. When is it ever appropriate clothing? True. So was this just to beat him up? I, yeah. I guess. Heavily anime. It's like new DLC character. Okay, there's a DLC character. There's a new game mode. 3v3! We still got some awards okay, great. to hand out. Timothy you don't need to keep Chalamet pausing because then we'll find out what's coming up. Yep. I would leave okay. it unless we need to pause. Okay, okay. Because I want this one. surprise. Enlightened souls. 16. Terrible weapons called the iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name. And turn them against each other in the Magitech War. It seems somebody's woken this place up. <laughs> New chapters. Sigma. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out, and then we will not like the answer. Wait, Joshua. It's yes. <laughs> no, don't. Let's carry on. We'll, we'll go back. Yes. We'll go back. Ah! But is this? Joshua's alive. Is it before is the this, end? Is this new yeah, stuff? Is it new for... stuff before the end? Jeez. Yeah, maybe. Oh, new character. Okay, okay, okay. The Tom King. What's his ti title gauge that came up? Oh my god, that Tom King looks epic. We have a new character. Yeah, who is that person? Is that Leviathan? Leviathan! Leviathan's here! Ah! Heroes of the Fallen, <laughs> uh, Echoes of the Fallen, sorry, and the Rising Tide. Available today! Available today! There's something available today! <laughs> Ow, by the way. <laughs> Just fucking wallop my shoulder. <laughs> That'll be where the Discord was like, guys, you need to watch this. Shit. So we so, can be playing it now? Because this today was like yesterday. Order the expansion pass to get both paid DLCs for a discount. <laughs> <gasps> okay, right. Can we please watch that again? Because my brain just went... Bleh. So hang on. S stop. Uh, yeah. Like, let's go back. So... You've got Joshua in the party, so yeah. 
How are they going to do this? Is it going to basically be you get to the point of no return? Or do you think it's kind of a case of, uh, like in Horizon, for example, Which when you've got the DLC, area. it's like, oh, the new area is open. You can do it whenever you like. Maybe just don't do it at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Because that's how it worked, didn't it, for Horizon? I Pretty think. much, yeah. There was like, I remember like in, in, in Zero Dawn, it was a case of like, it was basically a cliff face. Which you couldn't do anything with. Yeah. And then once you had the DLC, oh, suddenly there were climbing points you can get all the way up. And then you could get into so the new area. So I think it feels like the Echoes of the Fallen, that's just going to be a particular area. You know where it might be? Uh, I don't know. There was there was somewhere in the game where I remember there being like a door that I was like, why is this here? You can't do I remember. With... I remember that door. It's in the bit on the way up. It's in the bit that's like up. basically just... the, the Deadlands between Yeah, just, a couple just of other beyond places. Eastpool. Just yeah. bond, beyond Eastpool, we came up. It looked like a sort of a an echo, sort of fallen yeah. door. And it was like, what? Uh, it looked like the sort of thing you'd be able to go back and unlock later on, mm. like sort of you know, like those sort of hidden doors. You think, oh yeah, then, I can now open it. But, but it didn't then do that anything. said, like let's just watch it because the the structure looked massive. Unless it's risen up at some point, maybe. I don't know. Let's let's just watch again and yeah, listen see if we can and pick see up if more, we can pick up more from that. Oh. <laughs> Forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against Oof. each other in the magic war. So this this thing here, yep, um, is that an iconic iconic whatever it is. I was like, every time I saw it, I was like, that's going to be important. It is. So who created the icons and turned them against each other? They just said about uh, in the uh, Magitek War. Did did we know about this? The Magitek War we didn't know about. No. They no. mentioned I think there's mentioned in a law somewhere, but that was it. Let's listen. Who did that? The premieres, the Fallen. Including this one. Enlightened souls. Forged great and terrible weapons called Enlightened the Souls. From which icons derive their name. The Fallen? They turned them against each other in the Magitek War. So basically you're kind of class. Somebody's woken this place up. The question is. That's that that answers my question. Sixteen returns with new chapters, so it's like they've added more stuff so into you the can game. Replay sixteen and get more detail. Yeah, because you've got Jill, you've got Joshua Torgles there. That is great. Apart from one thing, from what? a purely personal perspective, you've replayed. I've just you've played done it twice. my second playthrough of it on Final Fantasy mode. I've uninstalled it, thinking right that was everything. Now it's going to come out. Am I going to have to do another playthrough though? to no, be able can... to see all this stuff or is it going to be at the I point of like that can do point of no return select. i would have thought you could do chapter select no i'm well, not good if i do add I'm something sure, like that in there, i'm sure i'm sure they wouldn't create a game where you can play through it once and then they know that the final fantasy mode is there and people will have played it and it would be pretty dumb of them to then create dlc where you'd have to do a full replay i think but anyway. yeah it looks like basically they're adding more stuff into the main story though but isn't there a chapter select as part of the uh arete stone well that's just like a sort of an arcade mode thing though Oh, okay you can go back and redo it but it's not like mm. a chapter select in the same way in well in my view worst case you can watch me play it because i've only done the one playthrough although i'm not doing it on the channel on You're not doing the whole one. Final Fantasy mode. <laughs> Understandably, yeah. yeah. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? That is giving me Horizon Forbidden West, Horizon Zero Dawn, well, Forbidden West vibes. Mm. With the defense system, it's like the futuristic technology yeah. and all that stuff. Well, that's sort of the suggestion of what the Fallen potentially were, right? Sort of like advanced technology. And, and they've then buggered off into space. And then or... they've sort of like, you know... Well, gone, gone into back. hibernation, yeah. Yeah, they've gone into hibernation and then it's sort of like, you know, Spoiler. what's left is, uh, you know, just sort of like gone back into the old times as such with technology and stuff. Yeah. I have a feeling we're about to find out and that we will not like the answer. So he's clutching at his arm as if that's hurting him when they're... Oh! This relates to the so, curse, maybe. No, but that thing, that whatever that was yeah i'm just wondering if that mm -hmm. is like some sort of control thing for the icons and because joshua and clive and jill obviously have iconic power in them are they sort of getting controlled a bit but not controlled by it but We're getting affected, affected by it, somehow. By it. To find out, and then we will not like the answer 
Then we better cut this short. Oh wow! It's like Ooh. it's like they're in Tron or something. Nice! Oh my god, that Omega! Like... My friends. To Mysidia. So this is the other one then, the rising tide. This you is know, a new area. Hang on. You know where this fucking is? Where's this? Um yeah, well it might not be, but <laughs> do you remember when Dion gets injured and medicine girl Medicine girl comes and helps him and yes. he she you looks think this is here? Well, she looks after Dion in like a little sort of um <laughs> words are not coming to me today, but I'm too excited. But triangular hut thing, yeah, okay. a bit like this. Maybe not quite as like no, well so done as this. I, I think it like, might be yeah. a different place. However, there's the there's the river and wasn't there a scene at uh at some point? Where yes. they've got the lanterns. Yes, when basically at the same time with Dion with basically Dion. recovering after the Medicine Girls sort of looked after him. I think this is I think this is Medicine Girls' hometown or wherever. You reckon? I possibly feel... higher up, and she's lower down, or maybe it's somewhere a little bit different. Maybe it's like where she's come from, and she's obviously maybe she's not living with her clan anymore i don't know why but i'm just getting the vibe like the clothes she wears and these two people here I mean, yeah maybe i just remember like in the in the original game and that area i think it was a bit more sort of slummy it was basically. a bit more slummy i'm saying maybe she's moved from here but i maybe. just feel like the similarities and that and in the clothes that she's wearing compared to what they're wearing not out of the question and like Nobody knows who this medicine girl chick is, but she's obviously important in some way. Yeah, because she keeps coming back, and she's in the uh, in the she's oh my in, god, she's in, in, the, uh, uh, in the law, the law, book. yes, basically. The, the and she has she has her own entry, and she actually has a name that her name escapes me. But she actually has a name in there. She's not just medicine girl. I think I, I seem to think her name relates to water in some way as well. I think some people work that out. All right, um, she's got to be linked. I mean, could she be Leviathan? People have said that. Don't know. Yeah. Let's find out. Tidal gauge. So that's obviously related to the life. And that Tom Brinkman looks brilliant. Yeah. And there is Leviathan. Leviathan the Lost. So you're getting a new iconic battle there by the looks of it. And that's okay. awesome, the Please fact that some of it's available now. Let's watch our latest trailer. Okay, we're on to something else, but oh, I'm so excited about that. Yep. It might Agreed. Be sooner than you think. This Game Awards is on fire. Yep. Some pretty epic stuff in here. Now it's time for tonight's okay. final world premiere. <sighs> Right, we're getting towards the end of the show, and this one, I will let speak for itself. What are we seeing? Assassin's what Creed? Is, this? is it Assassin's Creed? I need some words, Jeff. I don't know what I'm seeing. All I can think of is the stampede in The Lion King. Simba. What I'm seeing is a lot of this guy riding on his what? colourful what? animal what? thing. There's thunder and lightning. The world is transforming. Capcom. It's a Capcom game. Monster, Monster Hunter. Hunter! There we go, okay. Wilds. I didn't play the other one that came out a few years ago. No, neither did I. Is it good? Should I? Let us know in the comments. Hey, it looks pretty. For 2025. A bit longer to wait for that one. Well, okay. there we go. There that we was go. it. I mean, for us, like, I think other games like that was a strange one to end on for us because yeah. we're not as fussed about that but oh my god we had rebirth 16 dlc god of war ragnarok valhalla god of war valhalla uh what else have we seen 
I'm sure there was something else that I was like really excited about, but I'm just, just... overwhelmed by 16 and <laughs> FF7. <laughs> Oh, it was a really good Game Awards. It's a shame we couldn't stream it, um, but we are just, honestly, life at the moment is just hectic. And we've actually been meaning to do a video about it, but we just haven't had time, <laughs> ironically. Yep. So um, we will we will uh, maybe get back to normal at some point. I don't know, but hope you had fun watching with the, that with us, guys. And uh, let us know what you're most excited for in the comments. So uh, till next time. Bye. See ya.